they say that the best views are on your doorstep, and that for me is certainly true of the Surrey Hills. Born and bred in the county, it obviously has a personal influence, but as a photographer who travels the UK far and wide, it is a hard heart that cannot appreciate the beauty of an area where its glories are not obvious. There are no big mountains. Instead, it has an underlying subtlety for those who are able to see. Surrey has more trees than any other county. This is not in total, but density, the number per square mile, and very useful in hot weather. Some photographers may find this claustrophobic, but as I feel part of this landscape, I have never had a problem in finding a good view. I used to live in Dorking, so this walk is a trip down the memory lane. I was around when the vineyard was created, one of the largest in the UK, and not without a certain amount of controversy. Nevertheless, the visitor centre is recommended, especially for a meal, but instead I took a bit of time out to relax. So, one morning in May, I set off from the station, and a bit of help from an ordnance survey map. I hadn't planned my exact route. That didn't matter, because I grew up in this landscape. Polston Lacey, a National Trust property set gloriously on a hillside on the North Downs, was my objective, but on this occasion from a distance. I didn't pay it a visit on this occasion. I could have done. I know the quick way in which they can't close, incidentally, because it's on a public right-of-way. But for now, I settled, yes, I settled with this rather wonderful view. The right-of-way is for Tanner's Hatch, a YHA hostel and one of the most basic with no car access and miles from public transport. It must be bliss waking up early morning and going for a stroll, but I think that I am past that adventure. One of the photographic problems in early May in a heavily wooded landscape are greens. It is all green, and it doesn't help the composition. The photographer is desperately looking for a contrasting hue. Even without a proliferation of trees, as here in Surrey, a landscape is in danger of having just cold colours, but adding a few warm hues gives it a bit of oomph, but not much luck here. Returning over Ranmore to the escarpment, I glimpsed the promised land, the town of Dorking. This is a fantastic view that includes, in the far distance, Leith Hill and its tower, the highest point in the southeast of England at 965 feet. Don't tell anyone, but Dorking is an underrated town, so we keep its charms to ourselves. It is on the route of Roman Stane Street, and the composer Rafe Vaughan Williams lived here for many years. Its architecture might not compete with, say, a Ludlow or Stamford, but it is the setting that makes it so special and where I have just conducted this journey of nostalgia. <laughs> 